Hello and welcome to Feed the Beast Pyramid Pack with me, Mr. Sarrett. Well, this will probably be one of the last episodes for some time. Uh, obviously, I still have two challenges to do, one being uh, Ender Dragon Egg and the other the Omega Bee. Well, bees... Mm, that can take a very long time and, as I've already said, I'm not a very patient person, so I may do it. Uh, it'll be off screen and it could be months before I get around to it. Uh, just focusing on bees for as long as I need to would mean that I wouldn't be able to do anything else, really. I, I wouldn't be able to film any other series. So, yeah, I, I can cheat it in. You can't, you can't actually uh, cheat it in through here. There is a way of doing it though. I could do that, um, but I probably won't. I'll just... Well, I don't like saying it, but I'll probably end up leaving the map undone, unfinished. At least for some time until I can get around to doing the bees. But what I can do that is the Ender Dragon Egg, which I've put on my armor fully charged up, ready to go. I've put a little bit into my Klein Star. It should be at about 9 million in there at the moment. Um, I've got pretty much everything I need. The Flying Ring, Archangel Smite, and armor. So, I guess this might end up being quite a short episode. I'll um, jump in and we'll take on a dragon. Oh, well. Oh. Okay, now, well, oh, there she is, right there. If you've never been in here before, it's very grainy. The dragon, first of all, it's not easy to hit because you constantly end up hitting these guys, but there's these pillars with these funny looking bobbing things on top. These things will regen the dragon, heal the dragon's health, which means you obviously have to take them out before you stand any chance of taking on the dragon. If the dragon gets close enough to one of these, it will just heal them. They do do a fair bit of damage when they blow up, Thankfully I've got on some pretty decent armour. Oh, just hit myself. So that's the dragon being healed by by one of these pillars. So yeah, you just take out a whole heap of the pillows. Oh, go away dragon. Oh, blew off an ender. Enderman. And that way She can't be healed. You can see she's being healed by this one over here. Her health up in the top there is constantly going up. Now there's quite a lot of these, so obviously we can't take them all out. Well, it would take a very long time if we were to try and take them all out. If I just hit R... Now what I'm actually doing now, there's so many arrows going up at her, up at her, she can't get back down. So I can just keep hitting R, and uh, eventually she'll die. She can't get back down close enough to the, the pillars to heal herself. We are very high at the moment too. Almost there. All these arrows I'm firing up, I'm firing way more than I need to, so there's going to be a lot flying around, and when she dies they will all shoot out. There she goes. Watch all the arrows come flying out. Oh, there they go. And... We were up high. Whoa! Oh, what's
what's the experience going up now? Ah! Hey, go away, go away! Ooh. Definitely gonna get over it. Oh, you, go away! Over a hundred levels now. Yeah, these big uh, experience orbs you get from the dragon. Worth a lot more, these ones here. Hey! Go away! You go away too. Stupid Enderman. Whoa! <laughs> That's the quantum suit. One of the abilities is being able to run like... Oh, go away! Go away! Go away! Uh, anyway, here's the egg. Uh oh. Where'd the egg go? Didn't go. Th oh, there it is. Hmm. Go away! May still be able to get it. Now I'll show you. The only way that I know of getting it. Uh, we need. I think I've brought everything I need. Piston. Lever. Or lever. There you go. Knock the piston off, knock the egg off, and we can collect it. Now that we've got it. Go back through. That's nice. Just one back up here. I never actually set a a, a um, bed up down on the platform. Never had a little house. Always meant to build one, but never did. Now there's one thing with this egg. It's yeah, it can be taught to the uh, transmutation tablet. I wonder if that can. Yeah, it can too. Excellent. Not too sure what you can do with it, but. Oh, I can see inside the pyramid, the monument. Oh, let me, let me in. Woo! This is where it goes. In there. Wait for this to light up. There you go. So only the Omega A B or Omega B to go. And I can't see myself doing that anytime soon. When you do finish that, the pyramid opens up through here and there. And you can go in and have a look at all the wiring and everything. And believe me, it is quite impressive what they've done. Um, I'll leave it up to you guys. If if enough people say just cheat it, just cheat it in, then that's what I'll do. Otherwise, you could be waiting quite a long time. Oop, there we go. Quite a long time before I um, get around to finishing it off and bringing the official last episode. But for now, that's it for Feather the Beast Pyramid Pack. I will be, I'm not sure if I pointed out, I did build quite a few more. Not that it matters now, but um, I will be doing a Feed the Beast, or I have already started a Feed the Beast uh, Let's Play with the mod pack itself, a survival map, or survival game. Um, quite a few differences with the Feed the Beast mod pack to this Feed the Beast mod pack. So it should be interesting. And hopefully you come back to watch that with me. Anyway, I won't see you for some time for the next episode of Feed the Beast Pyramid Pack. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and bye-bye.